Okay guys, so right now we're at BookCon, and so this is what the entire place looks like, kind of. And we just got our little, what are these called? Like the passes? Well, I'm not sure who this man is, but he's on our necks. And so, we're walking around, and today we are with, do you want to say your name? I'm Sahar. <laughs> and do you want to say your name, stranger? I have no name. <laughs> okay, well, her name's Melise, and right now we're just walking around and meeting like different authors and whatnot. So this is what the place looks like. And so basically when you walk in, you kind of see this. So you have a little view of that. And we're trying to find like different authors and like books that we recognize. So at the Veronica Roth line. And this is basically So not only is it this you keep going straight, you're gonna make a left, and you continue going left. And this is the longest line I've ever been in. So this is the Moroccan half line. So the Veronica Roth panel. It's huge. So right now we're at the Veronica Roth panel and we're just waiting for the entire thing to start because it's starting in a few minutes. So we're really excited to see what she's going to be doing, what she's going to be presenting. So we're really excited. Awesome. Okay. So we're here today to talk about our books. We both have new books coming out. Um, we've both written books in a, in a series that relate. Uh, so I thought we could start, actually you thought we could start, by just talking about our newest thing so that everybody right. knows. Well, my newest thing is called Four. And it's a series of short stories about four. <laughs> four. Four stories about four, actually. Four being, you know, the primary love interest of the Divergent series, and also, you know, like a dude in his own right. Um, and the stories are about his journey towards Dauntless and becoming a member, and then the fourth story overlaps significantly with the middle of Divergent. So um, it's kind of a retelling of parts of Divergent from his point of view. So that's four. Tell us about Proxy and Guardian. Cool. So uh, Proxy is also like a futuristic thriller um, set in a world where the rich pay for the poor to take their punishments when they screw up. It's about two 16-year-old boys, Knox and Sid. Knox is wealthy and privileged and good-looking and has the best technology and the best clothes and like a new girlfriend every single week and he never bothers to remember their names. He's a total, complete jerk. Um, and he never has to face the consequences of being a total, complete jerk because he has a proxy, this orphaned kid named Sid who lives in the slums of this city and who every time Knox screws up, Sid gets punished for it until Knox does something terrible. The punishment is way too much for Sid to bear and uh, he goes on the run and these two boys end up caught up in this giant controversy together, this giant conspiracy, and they're going to need each other to survive, but they're going to have to survive each other first. So that's Proxy. The thing that I remember most proudest about is probably the first time I was recognized for it, which um, was a contest I won recently. What was this? It was about one of my family's traditions. We were still at BookCon and we met Christine and we also met Jesse and Reagan. So that was really fun. So I'll insert pictures and like little clippets here and there in this video. And so basically it's just this big area and what's really upsetting about this is that you had to get tickets for BEA if you really wanted to go to everything that they had to offer. And those, I mean like you had to buy tickets. You can't buy tickets to BEA. What do you mean? Okay, well you had to get invited to BEA. And so if you weren't invited, then you really like don't really have that many options besides buying full price books. 
But other than that, it's like a good experience though, because we get to wander around and see like different people and different books and like different authors and especially that. So yeah. Yeah, so I, I kind of, I wasn't in any group, but I wasn't ostracized by any group. And my only problem was my mother was a teacher. So I had at the school, and that was horrifying. So I was the teacher's kid, and that was, that was a big problem. Did you already have like five uh, bestsellers by the time you were in Well, I was writing, I was trying to write a, a book a week when I was. <laughs> that last year made some come true. Nightmare. Um, uh, I think I was such an outsider that I was actually beaten up by each of the four author others. That were on this panel. <laughs> we beat them up in the green room. Um, no, I was an extremely spacey and dreamy. So right now we are waiting for John Green to come on, and we waited for a while, and now the time has finally come where he's going to come up and he's going to talk about the Fault in Our Stars, so we are very excited nonetheless. Well, 